Good morning and welcome back. It's been months since its initial outbreak, but the H1N1 flu virus has finally arrived in Madison County with its first confirmed cases in recent weeks. Dr. David James has the very latest on the virus in this week's Health Watch. In the past two weeks, there have been four confirmed cases of the H1N1 flu virus here in Madison County. The first such case is to be reported in this area. These cases are a reminder of the potential the virus has, not only during the normal fall flu season, but also now, year-round. There's absolutely no reason to be panicked. Uh, this is a time to be concerned, yes, and to be paying careful attention as to what's going on with the virus. Randall Roby with the Jackson-Madison County Regional Health Department says it's important to stay current on the latest regarding H1N1, especially for news of a potential vaccine that may be made available in the coming months. Vaccine production's in process. Uh, Clinical trials have begun. That vaccine, though, is going to work just like the seasonal flu vaccine uh, in that if you normally go to a private provider uh, to receive your vaccine, they'll still be able to do the H1N1 vaccine. In the meantime, it's important to be aware of the symptoms of H1N1 virus, which are similar to those of the seasonal flu, and may include fever, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, body aches, headaches, chills, and fatigue. If you come down with any of these symptoms, avoid contact with others. To help prevent spreading the virus, stay at home until you've been symptom-free for at least 24 hours, except to seek medical care. Really, we're focusing on the mitigation side of this, or preventing or lessening the impact of the, uh, of the virus as it begins to affect us here. The health department says the number one thing that people can do to cut down on the transmission of H1N1 is to practice good hygiene. Wash your hands frequently with hot soap and water, or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer when available. Also make sure to use a tissue to cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing and discard of it properly when done. To talk to a public health expert more on the topic of H1N1, call the health department at 423-3020. For this week's Health Watch, I'm Dr. David James.